Uh, it's really cool. I, I, I just got here uh, from the airport. Uh, I bought this shirt today uh, at the airport, which I'd never done before. And I'm really happy to be here. Um, I, South by Southwest seems insane. Uh, but I guess it's really cool to have a reason to be here like this. And it is a wonderful film. It is so funny. And I can't wait to watch it again. Uh, I, I, I mean, so, I, have you ever been to South by Southwest? Every year. Yeah. Every year. OK, so do you live here yeah. on this red carpet? OK. Um, yeah, no, it's like, I, I, I don't know yet. What's up? Uh, too much. I can't, there's too many people. I'm terrified. I'm very frightened. But I'm very excited to be here, and I'm very excited to watch the movie with a lot of people, because that's a really exciting thing. I'm also excited to go to the How Can I, or sorry, I'm the, uh, what you, hi, how are you? I'm really, I, I, uh, I love Daniel Johnson. I'm really excited to go visit the mural. Um, I'm probably going to cry. Uh, okay, let's talk about blockers. Tell, ask me, let's go. Yeah. Oh, it's be It's more than that. Oh, it's better than a. Fe it's more than a female super bad. Super bad's a male blockers. See what I did? Uh, no, it's okay. All that aside, I think that it's honestly it's so much more interesting to tell the story of I of female virginity loss. I think is so much more interesting than a male virginity loss. Men or boys really are just doing whatever they can to put their penis in whatever they can and for women it's a much more complicated and like emotional and spiritual issue and so for sure for for a young woman to lose her virginity it is a much more emotional and spiritual experience both personally and the way that society looks upon it and so it's a much more interesting story, I think, to find out what it is for uh, the different reasons that young women decide to lose their virginity together on one night. Uh, and then also, yeah, what happens when their parents find out about it and are, you know, stuck in their ways and, and unwilling to give those young women the... Uh, the self-actualization that they're finding in themselves, you know. I uh, I don't think so. I don't think. Honestly, I feel. I think that I remember my mom being like, "Honey, I just want to make sure you're having safe sex." Way before anyone wanted to fuck me. So like, I I think that I think that if anything. It was uh, the other way around. I was my parents were thinking I was getting laid way before I was, uh, and yeah. Uh, but all right, cool. There you go. All right, thank you. Yeah.